Hello everyone, my name is Beth Staniforth Seamster and I'm the Children's Ministry Coordinator at Whitewater Area Regional Ministry in Whitewater, Wisconsin. I hope that you are having a wonderful Sunday. Um, let's start how we do. Let's check in. I will say it's been a thumbs up weekend at our house. My kids have been earning yes days with their good behavior. I don't know if you've seen that movie or heard about the idea on Netflix. There's a movie called Yes Day where um, the, the parents have to say yes to the things the kids ask. Now our yes days are not as extreme as the movies, um, but it's things like we go to the park and we get ice cream and they stay up late and we order pizza for dinner. They have to earn it with a lot of good behavior, but it's always a very, very fun weekend when we get to have a yes day. So that's what today was. Well, however you're doing, I hope that you take a few minutes and share that with the people around you. It's a really easy way we can support each other right now, talking and listening. Today is Pentecost. The church is celebrating Pentecost. Do you know what Pentecost is? Technically, it's the birthday of the church. And there's a lot of things we could talk about here, but the story of Pentecost is that after Jesus died, all of his followers were together in a room and they were scared. They were scared because their leader had been killed and they didn't know what to do. And suddenly a great wind, like a great spirit that's described as a wind, filled the room and rattled everything. And it's described as tongues of fire appeared above each of the disciples and they were able to speak a new language. And the people, they went outside and the people around them heard them speaking their native languages. And they said, how can this be? These are people from here, they're not from other places. And some people didn't believe them, um, but that, that it was a real gift. But what the disciples realized is that this was God telling them to go out and spread the message of Jesus and giving them the language and tools to do so. It's a cool story. Well, you know what's interesting? The Bible was not written in English. The Bible was written in different languages. The New Testament, the Gospels, the story of Jesus, and up to the book of Revelation, which is the end, was written in Greek, which was the language of the time. And the books in the Old Testament, Genesis, the creation story, all of that, was written in a language called Hebrew. Well, I studied Hebrew in college. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like doing a puzzle. Learning Hebrew is like doing a puzzle. But one of my favorite Hebrew words that I remember still um, 15, 20 years later is the word ruach, okay? Hebrew is a guttural language, so some of the, some of the sounds are kind of like right? So it's ruach, and ruach is a word that has three meanings, okay? It means your breath. Every time you breathe, right? That's your ruach. But it's more than that. Beyond breath, it means wind and spirit. Spirit, wind, and breath. And I, all, I often think about that word when I think about Pentecost, ruach, because it acknowledges that when we breathe, it's not just air that we're breathing. We're breathing in spirit, right? It's part of who we are, this breath that gives us life, that keeps us alive, that sustains us, that comes from God. It has, um, I always think of them as kind of connected, that our breath and the Holy Spirit are connected. Our spirit, wind, and breath, our ruach. Now we can't really see our breath. And that's the hard part. We know we breathe. Sometimes we don't even realize we're breathing, but our body just does it naturally, right? And it's, I love that because it's the natural way that we are filled with the Holy Spirit that we don't even always realize. So this weekend, I invite you to do something that, sh that reminds you of your breath and that connection to the Holy Spirit so I thought of two fun things you could do. Maybe you'll think of more. 
you could go outside and you could blow bubbles because when you blow bubbles, that's a way we almost like see our air, right? We, and the bubbles appear and it's a way of, of seeing that breathing. And the other thing is blowing up a balloon. When we blow up a balloon, it's our air that's in the balloon. However you choose to celebrate Pentecost, I hope you remember that you are a beloved child of God who is called to love God and love your neighbor. And I hope you remember just how important and special you are. With that, I wish you blessings and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.